Hello, this is Ken from Spare 5 with some extra instructions on how to select and label an outline. I'm going to start off by just drawing a very small shape here. I'm going to draw a triangle. And you can see when I do that and complete it, it's automatically selected. It's been highlighted, and you can see the outside points. I go over to the label list, and I'm able to add it. If this were an iOS device, I'd press and hold. But you can see it's automatically selected. However, when you divide an image into large outlines, it's not automatically selected because the image doesn't know which part you're trying to select. Here's an example. So I'm going to start by, you know, just dividing this image in half. I'm going to fit in the window, and you can see neither side is selected. You can't see the points, neither side's highlighted. I go over to the label list nothing happens. When you see this, you need to use the select tool. When you use the select tool, you can choose which outline you want to label. So let's say I click this side, you could see it's highlighted, you could see the points, I go over and click road, and there, we're able to add the outline. And as long as we're here, a few extra points on this qualification, when you draw, you want to use the existing outlines. So you can see the curb and the road kind of comes up against this car outline, so you want to use it. It's part of the outline. They're connected, and you want to take it from there. What you don't want to do is try and, you know, some fives are trying to do is kind of, you know, draw, but that's not what you want to do. You want to use these outlines as part of your outline. Well, that's how you select and label an outline. I hope these uh, hints help you with your tasking. If you have any questions, please write to support at spare5.com. And as always, thank you for being part of the Spare 5 community.